Understanding the carbon footprint of your morning cup of coffee is like understanding the number of calories you consume by having an empanada for breakfast. The higher the number, the more you have to do to compensate it for your health or the health of our planet. But before understanding what to compensate, we need to understand what to measure. Do you know how the environmental effects of producing your morning cup of coffee are measured? To map emission sources when producing coffee, Caravella Pekka teams visit producers directly at their farms and make use of the Arabica app. The Arabica app helps to gather quantitative information on all activities done by coffee producers, from growing coffee plants to overall productivity of a farm, as well as processing coffee cherries harvested and delivered to one of Caravella's 36 buying stations across seven countries in Latin America. Information gathered on farm activities is organized and processed by Caravella's PECA and IT teams. Caravella uses the Cool Farm Tool, a robust greenhouse gas calculator used across the agricultural industry. The Cool Farm Tool translates all activities done at the farm into greenhouse gas emissions data. From this data, Caravella creates visualizations that illustrate how the different farm activities relate to global warming, contributing to the understanding of how different agricultural practices have different overall impacts on the planet's health. In most of the farms across Latin America, where coffee is grown along steep slopes and harvested by hand, the main sources of greenhouse gases are the production of nitrous oxide from the use of synthetic fertilizers and the carbon dioxide emitted during the production of those fertilizers. Other sources of greenhouse gases are related to release of methane by microbial organisms that occur with coffee pulp residues and wastewater coming from coffee processing. Caravella has found that all of these activities, synthetic fertilizer creation and use, coffee processing and coffee pulp waste, could account for 90% of the total greenhouse gas emissions of coffee production on farms in Latin America. Nevertheless, emissions of greenhouse gases while growing coffee speak for only one side of the story about the overall environmental impact to the planet's resources. We cannot measure greenhouse gas emissions of a coffee farm without an evaluation of its green assets. The primary green asset are shade trees. Shade trees are endemic trees that provide beneficial effects for coffee plant development, pest control, soil health, and water retention. Additionally, coffee and shade trees sequester carbon by capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and transforming it into biomass through photosynthesis. This means that coffee farms that have a well-established agroforestry system, meaning coffee plants grown under shade provided by other trees, have a higher biomass sequestration potential. The more trees grown on a farm per hectare of coffee grown, the more carbon is sequestered by the system. It is reported that agriculture worldwide is one of the major contributors to global warming. But is coffee production as big of a threat for the environment as some of its agricultural peers? There is not an absolute answer to this question. But what we are sure about is that the environmental effect of coffee depends on how the coffee is grown. In Latin America, we have identified farms that operate within two opposite approaches to coffee production that have, in turn, opposite impact upon the atmosphere's health. On one hand, there are high productivity coffee systems in which coffee is grown almost entirely under direct sun exposure and where farmers add high doses of synthetic fertilizers to maximize the productivity of coffee plants. On the other side of the spectrum, there are also farms that grow coffee plants in agroforestry systems under dense and well-established tree shade with low to no usage of synthetic fertilizers. Caravella has found that farms using high productivity systems have an overall greenhouse gas emitting effect upon the atmosphere, releasing more greenhouse gases than the amount of carbon dioxide they sequester. In contrast, farmers growing coffee organically and under agroforestry systems have a regenerative effect upon the planet's resources since they're not emitting large amounts of greenhouse gases and are able to sequester carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, storing it below ground in roots and soil. Since not all coffee is grown the same way, not all cups of coffee we consume have the same effect on the environment. At Caravella, we want to further the conversation on traceability and transparency beyond price and quality. 
It is important that we are aware of the environmental impact of the coffee we drink so we are able to make better, more informed consumption choices. Today, by actively choosing how your cup of coffee was grown, you have the power to decide the future of coffee, impacting and supporting the people that produce it and the planet's overall health. We know the job is not done just yet. Understanding and measuring coffee's carbon footprint is just the first step. We have a long way to go in monitoring not only greenhouse gas emissions and other environmental burdens of growing coffee, but also in guiding farmers to engage with more sustainable agricultural practices. As consumers, small changes in our consumption habits can make a big difference in protecting the planet for generations to come. Together, we can make coffee better and create a world where every cup of coffee brings us closer to a more sustainable future.